had to stop and feed the birds. Work with spirits some more. Wow, the, the messages were just spectacular. Just really realizing like, this is why we have to work with the masculine and heal force, heal with force. This is why it's so important because it's when we get aggressive, when we get frustrated, when we get in attack mode, when we have forced and forced and forced ourselves so much that we're here. There's nowhere else to go. And this is where we lash out. This is where we hurt self. This is where we hurt others. This is where it's really hard to be in charge here. And it's understanding that, that that's why we need to heal with the masculine. Understand the firepower. This, have, this is connected to this message right here. It's all starting to make sense to me now. I needed to obviously feed the birds and take the pause. It's connected to what's happening here with Technomancer. Technomancer, we're understanding firepower. We're understanding the sheer, raw, awesome force and firepower and how... Um, we have to be careful with it. If we don't, if we don't understand this, we can. It's at that extremism energy go too far. It's it's unbalanced. Now, like just think about firepower being unbalanced. The destruction, the sheer massive destruction of this force. We have to keep it in balance. So how we're doing that is we're doing that with the connection to the six of cups. The feminine and the inner child. That's how we have the masculine, the feminine, and the inner child. Guys, not this, Kibu. I swear, it's a day of the animals. What? Like, what's up? You can't be up here now because now we have the these beautiful birds. I want to call them the chickens, guys. My son just calls them the chickens. Mommy, we gotta feed the chickens. The little chicklets. And I'm like, okay, boo. Whatever. That's where I can use the feminine. I know what he's talking about. I can see the image in my head. You know, I don't have to honor the masculine. What is that? You know what I mean? I know there's a time and a place. And yeah, we do still need to really honor that masculine. Because that's how we're helping to heal with the masculine. To understand where to apply the force. And so much of this has, guys, we have been social conditioned and forced to do all this stuff that's so twisted. We came here to untwist it and we are, uh, we're doing, we're untwisting it by unforcing ourselves to fit in, to unforce ourselves, to continue to create with these templates. We're no longer forcing ourselves anymore. Uh -uh. We're creating a new, we're activating. And like, we're doing this by facing death patterning. Many of us are doing this by facing death patterning. Okay, so let's see how we're doing it. Biscuit Boo, I love you. But we need to continue this message on. Oh, my Biscuit Boo. Yeah. Alrighty, so that's why we need to understand where to apply the masculine so ma the masculine's actually expanding with life, expanding with the matter, and not giving away the energy to be stolen, to be depleted. So that's what we're understanding. That's what we're untwisting. We're in protection mode here. Because why? Because we honor the feminine. We honor the inner child. We went within the center, okay? And it's freedom time. This is what this is what's snapped, okay? This is snapped. All these ones have snapped. It's done. It's transformation time. We're going from here. Where is that? To here. Okay. But we're doing it through here. We're doing it through surrender. We're doing it through the hanged man. We're doing this through enlightenment. We're doing this through honoring the feminine. And this is connected to our last message. Okay. It was always love, right? It was always love. And this is, this is restoring balance. This is restoring balance right now. They've shown me the Six of Pentacles in both tarot. And that the King of Pentacles is helping us to restore balance by facing our shadows. 
and reinvest in the earth. And we're reinvesting in the earth with the feminine. This is the key. This is the key to the shift. Because the feminine is going to help the masculine to understand where do I apply the force. So I'm not in aggression. So I'm not in frustration. So I'm not in lower vibrations. I'm in my Merkaba. And I'm healing. I'm activated. I'm going where I need to go. And it has to do with the Queen of Wands. The Nine of Wands. The Five of Wands, and this is where we shift, we burn away what's old and go to the new. Through the positive charge, but we remember it's happening within, with our solar plexus. But our solar plexus is working with our root and our sacral with our recalibration to the earth star. Because remember, we're levitating and we have our third eye activation here because we see it was always love and that's our truth. This is the truth that we're revealing and the high priestess is helping us to work with here. The high priestess is helping us to work. Actually, let's just get it straight like this. The high priestess is helping us right now to work with what this truth is and what these truth are, truths are for us. And this is radical. This is, this is radical acceptance. This is radical acceptance connected to our root. And the, these tower moments that are connected to our ten of pentacles expanding through the earth, our divine inheritance. That the King of Pentacles is help us here, helping us here to do. Ah, oh, guys, my nose is so itchy. It's so itchy. It's woo. Oh, okay. So this is the thing. Within, we need to have a surrender to the Five of Wands charge, and heal because we need to expand with the Two of Cups. And the moon, the balance, cooling it down, okay? And that's connected to becoming enthusiastic, the princess of wands, expanding with force, but the 13 spheres of knowledge where we've untwisted it. And they're, sh they're sharing with me what this is connected to. It's a surrender. Surrender to a higher perspective, and this expands our positive energy. And this is connected to a series of future readings that I have been working on. But we have to heal from our rigidity, and this was it. A lot of drinking from that cup for me was the fact that I had worked on that series of uh, the ego sublimination, the reading, and like guys the messages there and then to have that gone like literally that was a part of my ego sublimination and i had to meditate on that for many moments and i had to heal from my rigidity and i'm still healing and coming back from this but it's changed my perspective to understand how to shift with more positive energy To be remembered, to be woke, to create with strength and magic as we face these death templates that many of us are facing in order to create this high vibe charge. It's literally like do or die time, guys. It's like do or die. It's transformation time. Many of us know it. Many of us that have been... Oh, God, I felt like I knocked that pot over. Many of us that have been drinking from that cup for some time just know we're not, we're, we can't drink from it anymore. And many of us that, you know, needed a refresher, just needed a reminder. It's the why we quit drinking from that cup and why we began expanding. Or, you know, you just haven't drank from that cup. But it's taunting you. Or none of the above. Alright guys. Then I don't know. But I know this is what's up. This is what's up. Let's share this message. Oh because it's connected to this. Let me get it straight guys. It's the Six of Pentacles. It's like the Six of Pentacles. They've shown it to me now three times. It's here three times. This is it. The Six of Pentacles is restoring balance. It's creating the peace 
through the earth. Now the son and the daughter are working together. Look, the son and the daughter are going to work together to help us to heal with our ancestors, to heal from our past. But it is connected to the Nine of Pentacles. And we know the Nine of Pentacles is connected to the Four of Pentacles shift. From the Nine to the Four, we're expanding. But that's connected to the Two of Cups through the Three. And we're honoring this here. And this is working with the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is working with the Queen. Where did she go, my lovely Queen? But it's all... Thanks to the Princess of Wands, the main activation. So, we remember that that main activation is connected to this and this. And we're expanding from our roots right now. We're expanding through the present moment to allow growth. And that's what it really is. You know what, guys? When we heal from that Nine of Wands charge, where is that Nine of Wands charge? This nine of wands charge here. We allow growth. Look, we're giving, like, we have no energy for growth here. We have no energy for growth. This is about growth. This is about expansion. This is about ascension. We have to cut some stuff away. So here we've, we've cut stuff away. We've let go of nine wands. We have one. We have our flame. We're lit here. We added the positive charge. We went within the dark and we restored balance with the wants, with the action, with facing force. And much of it is surrender and inaction. We're surrendering and inaction to allow the growth within the present moment. This is where it is. It's like this flower, it's growing. It, it's not moving right now. It's going to allow time for rest. And rejuvenation. This is about a rest and a rejuvenation, guys. This is a rest and a rejuvenation. Let's get the message. Where is the book? I don't remember. There's birds here now. I got I can't be so I can't be so lit and loud. Alright. Red grounds, anchors, encourages, and supports you now. You may have been feeling tired, depleted, unconfident, demotivated, lacking direction. Red light comes to energize, warm, and stir you back to life. It's connected to our safety, strength, and power. Red is the shortest wave of light and the most earthly of all the colors. Emerging from this, an ancient elder comes before you as who has seen everything and understands the ways of the land and its people. He is here to teach you as he has learned to master the potent force of red and use it for good in his world. He stands on red, sacred earth, able to feel his bloodline going back through generations healed and whole. And this is what we're doing. He will show you how to lead. Show courage and face whatever is there to challenge or belittle or derail you. He asks you to stand in your own power and be sure of a solid foundation and safety while others around you may feel scattered and fearful. His energy is of strength and determination. He is here for you now, for you have called him, and he works alongside Metatron as a bridge between the angelic and shamanic worlds. And I sure know I've been calling him. Red needs mastering so that no blood needs to be spilled and no more sacrifices made. The time for peace, not war, is needed. No more fighting over territory possessions or what someone else has. He makes us look at where we still have parts of that. Need healing within ourselves and in our family line. His gaze scans the horizon to see any danger alerting you and protecting you.
His gaze scans the horizon to see any danger alerting you and protecting you at all times. Standing guard over you, he also makes those who wish to hurt another look to their own issues and repels negativity back to the sender. He offers the pipe of peace to you now. Whether you are struggling with any negativity that you feel, he says to you that there is another way. To own the realm of red energy as he does requires great spirit. He has truly made peace with the earth and all upon it. Nothing can shock him, deter him, or hurt him. And that's it. Confirmation of just everything. Just This is like radical transformation because it's radical acceptance. It's radical surrender. It's radical healing. It's radical freaking gold time. It's gold time. Because we're that raw... We're that ripped open. It's that real. We face reality. We looked at it for what it was. We we saw it all. We saw it all. And then we expanded. And then we entered the dark night of the soul. The soul. Then we saw it all. And then we expanded. Then we entered the dark night of the soul. And we've done this now. And now, you know what? There comes a point in time where you just did create that stability of the light. You're on the ledge because you got pushed off. You created this ledge that you crawled back up to see what you needed to see. And you expanded there. And when you crawl, when you go, when you go low and you're, you know, it's like when you go any lower after that point, after you've created that ledge and you fall off of it, it's just like, yo, I've seen over the ledge. I know this now. I've seen because you saw the light. We're going to feel into his energy now. Here is your helper for all that you may struggle with concerning base chakra issues. Health, safety, finances, relationships, security. Everything we came here to expand on mission work. His presence is here to also imply that there are energies of anger, frustration, greed, or lust around you. Or lust around us. Look, greed, frustration, anger. What we're healing. If so, again, let him help master lower energies and feel instead for the best that red embodies conviction, leadership, passion, or strength, to name a few. As you embrace the learning of the red ray, he assures you that nature can provide all your needs and that the respect for earth brings her love back to you tenfold. Well, my goodness, the respect for earth has brought herself back to us tenfold. And guys... I have not read this message said I since we were said since I said we were going to receive it because you know what I don't do all this I don't plan this out because you know what this is my life this is my life so I came here to heal with force I came here to heal with the masculine I came here to understand this but it's through honoring the feminine and this has completely been my life look spirits just I, spirits yeah spirits here high spirit okay look. This has been my life. Like, growing up as a tomboy, growing up as a complete masculine, hanging with the dudes, you know? Like, just like, uh, And then honoring the feminine within me, honoring this. And then I did this. And then I expanded. But, you know, then there's having your awakening. And that's a whole other thing, okay? Just wow. Just wow. Okay, guys. The Matrix is acting up. La Luna. Let's see. Let's see what's happening here. Let's see what's happening. Let's see. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for joining us for part two. There will be a link for part three down below in the description. See you there, everyone. <laughs>